Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Street Tips here. This is a uh, bar of pure silver that we uh, created by doing a silver chloride conversion with lye and sugar. And it did not come out looking too well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to do a remelt in this video. I usually experience a little bit of a loss when we do one of these melts. So I'm going to add a little bit of silver, pure silver here, to... Uh, Get the weight correct. There we go. We went up a little bit. 5.07 5 troy ounces. Now let's put this in our melt dish. And we're going to go out and melt this up into a 5 troy ounce pure silver bar. Look at that. That was that's what happens when you lose proficiency from not doing something for such a long time. I poured it into the wrong cavity on the melt. But look at that silver, man. It's beautiful. I'm gonna pour it back into the dish. And we're gonna try to do a remelt now. And this time we're gonna empty it into the correct cavity. Here's our pure silver bar. I must say it does look much better after doing that remelt. Let's see uh, what the weight is on this thing. We're shooting for five troy ounces. Boom, 5.01 troy ounces. stamped it upside down that's okay we'll just go ahead and improvise with this a little bit
Here's our finished bar. It looks spectacular. And I've got to give a shout out to Elaine Russell. She's the one that pointed out that that uh, previous bar looked like crap. And I've got to agree with her, it did. But this remelt was the remedy. Make sure we got five troy ounces here. We got 5.01 troy ounces. And what we're gonna do is we'll list this on my eBay site. All right, this will conclude the video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching.